Hello, uh, Tuba Tiskin uh, Gundodu from uh, Hope Biotechnology, a very innovative uh, startup. Welcome. And let's start directly with the first question. What is your business idea in circular bioeconomy? Uh, hello. Uh, first of all, I want to say hi to all and thank you for the invitation. As Hope Company, uh, our main focus is to using waste streams to turn and convert into useful biobased products. So uh, the starting point of our idea is the using waste gas streams and um, using two-step biotechnological process and uh, as you know, there is an air pollution problem in the world and the most contributing gases are the C1 gases like uh, CO2 and carbon monoxide. So uh, there is a process we are using to convert them in first short chain fatty acids. There was the second step, we convert that short chain fatty acids into medium chain fatty acids. All the process is based on biotechnological applications. So then we thought about using also the solid waste, uh, if we can use the solid waste. So the, uh, we are using the solid waste, first converting them into biochar, then collecting the gas and using another uh, step to convert them into biobased products like medium chain fatty acids. And medium chain fatty acids are, can be used uh, for food or feed additives uh, like hexanoic acid and which is the, um, H part of our uh, name of the company. So hexanoic acid or uh, other feed additives can be used for uh, chicken feeds, etc. And these can uh, these medium chain fatty acids also can be used to produce biofuels. They can be used as precursors of these processes. So we think our business idea is a good example of a circular bioeconomy using best gas and uh, producing green chemicals. Thank you. Uh, what inspired you for, for this really innovative, disruptive solution? Yes, as you know, the first inspiration always comes from nature. Uh, Mother Nature has all, if you have a problem, Mother Nature always have the solution for it. So if we are dealing with the air pollution problem, uh, we saw that there is a, a solution from the bacteria. Bacteria can convert these gases into, for example, generally it's used for ethanol production. So uh, when we realize that process and we, when we realize that there is a problem uh, for solution and we started to work together and um, we are co-founders in this company and are, we are working in different universities, we are academicians. But the main goal of us, all of us, is the protecting environment, working in environmental bioprocesses or processes. So uh, with successful collaborations, we made uh, many brainstormings and we came up with this business idea. Uh, apart from that, as you know, the main problem for our academic life, uh, we are working in the laboratory, we are finding some solutions, but it's very slow to reach the people for uh, human uh, benefits. So uh, this company will be a very good transfer mechanism uh, to uh, transfer our experiences on environmental processes for a better life for human and for the nature also. Amazing. Uh, how about the typical working day of you at Hope Biotechnology? Yes, we are a very young startup. We established on January. We don't have a common laboratory now. Uh, we are working, uh, we have four different laboratories in different universities. So I cannot talk about the working day, but I can talk about the working week. Uh, every Monday, uh, we come together uh, to organize that week. We have uh, interns and we have some volunteer students and we make these uh, meetings and we organize that week uh, because we have a project now. Uh, this is a project and we have some work packages to do. And uh, we organize the week, we organize the experiments and we perform the experiments. Then if we have problems, every Friday we have another meeting about the problems. If we don't have problem, uh, we will uh, make new organizations for new week, uh, for new experiments. So I can just uh, tell, uh, since we have very limited time to work on the company, uh, we choose two days to come together. And during this time, uh, we have some routine experiments because we have to keep our bacteria alive. 
and this is the only routine work for our company. Fantastic. Uh, what, what is uh, the study and career plan uh, that you're pursuing? Uh, our study uh, in my, uh, as can, I, if I can talk like uh, our study career begin with the environmental, working with environmental processes. And for example, uh, if I talk about myself, I choose to be an engineer and I then uh, 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 think about working on biotechnology processes. Then I started to work on environmental biotechnology and my study and career path uh, studied with this idea. So I did my master's and PhD and my co-founders also have a similar path, but from different uh, departments uh, from science or engineering departments. So uh, our career path started in academic life, but, but as I said before, uh, the uh, transfer of the academic experience is more important. So we choose to uh, use this company idea, this business idea uh, to work with. So our career path is to continue to work on uh, environmental processes, continue to work, uh, reduce the waste streams and continue to work new uh, bio-based products. Uh, for you as a young sustainable entrepreneur, what are the challenges that you are facing every day? Uh, for me, thank you for saying young to us. Uh, the main challenge is time uh, because as you know, the sustainability depends on three different uh, points like economical and uh, ecological and social development but the, as you know in the last decades the world just focused on economical growth and many problems we are facing with because, uh, because of like uh, climate crisis etc because of this economical growth so uh, the time passed very fast and we have to find very uh, effective solutions these times but uh, for biotechnological processes, the main challenge is the time that, and the cost, as I said, because uh, biotechnological processes is very environmentally friendly, but it is very slow because the growth of bacteria optimizing the process or something. So uh, I thought the main challenge is time for us. And the other challenge is always the cost because as you know, the biotechnological processes are very uh, expensive. And then uh, networking will be uh, our future challenges, I think, to reach the people, to convince the people about our processes and products. Lovely. Finally, what is your advice to students? Uh, my advice to students, I think uh, the young ages, especially uh, university ages, are the gifted time in our lives. Uh, we have very much power of doing everything. We have energy and we don't have any responsibilities like family and everything. So these ages are the best ages to uh, start with something, to fight with something because uh, you, don't have, you don't have to uh, gain so much success. You, ju you just have to try something. So uh, my advice to students uh, to just find the focus idea, study idea, uh, just for look for the problems around. While reading something or watching something, you will always see the problems. Then uh, it will be the starting point. Then they will realize that they will start to see uh, and search for the solutions. So when you are, uh, uh, when you are, when you think that you can find a solution, you can, um, to find out some trainings or you can uh, decide on your education or something so for being an entrepreneurship uh, I think uh, the best ages is the young ages because uh, there will be a lot of challenges and different challenges so you will be uh, I can how can I say you will get punched in your face but young ages you have a high tolerance for it so uh, I have a very good, uh, I heard very good uh, uh, definition about it. Uh, somebody said that uh, if you don't have success, it is about the success, but being an entrepreneurship, if you start your career with being an entrepreneurship, you will not uh, be 
uh, you will not prepare a resume for a company or something. You will always fight for yourself. You will gain for yourself or you will uh, try to solve the problem for yourself. And uh, working for environmental is uh, priceless and uh, it is very delightful. So I just suggest everyone at young ages to find some problems, then solve the problems and uh, contribute to solve the problems for the sustainability. Thank you. Thank you too for your very interesting answers and taking the time. Uh, wishing all the best to YouTube uh, and the rest of the team of uh, Hope Biotechnology. Thank you.